All right, so for getting these motors set up, again, I'm using the DYS Race Edition 2205 2300 kV motors. I really like them so far. I mean, of course, I haven't run them, but I do like the uh, the way they're set up. Let me put my microphone in here. I forgot to put that on there. Hopefully, that'll be a little better. Is uh, they come with really long wires, maybe 15, 10, 15 inches. I don't know, 8 inches. Anyhow, I determined for my setup it'd be best to have my wires about uh, 7 eighths of an inch long. And then I'm going to direct solder them to my 20 amp Rotor Geek ESCs. Now these have been used before. I had them on another airframe. So I had to cut the shrink wrap and then I'm going to peel it back and then get them soldered on there. And then I'll just tape that down when I put them on the on the arms with uh, some electrical tape. So two clockwise and two counterclockwise. The ones with the uh, silver nut that motor needs to spin counterclockwise and the ones with the black prop nut need to spin clockwise let me just double check yes that's right so these are clockwise and these are counterclockwise <clears throat> so motors uh, one and four need to be clockwise so that'll be these black ones and then two and three are going to be the counterclockwise okay so one and four are the clockwise yeah that's right so just from previous experience this is the way I'm going to solder these up and I can go into BL Heli and change this if it's not correct but motors one and four I'm going to solder these wires I'm going to I'm going to take two of them they're all lined up straight right now I'm going to take two of them and twist them doesn't matter which two so I'm going to solder those up like that on the ESC's and then with the other two I'm going to keep them flat and straight and solder them up just straight just like that and what that's going to do is reverse two of the motors now I don't know if I'm going to get them reversed correctly so they'll either all be correct or they'll all need to be reversed which is which is fine I can do that when I check my motor directions in uh, BL Heli. So I'm just going to solder my motors to the ESCs and I'm going to do that first. I'm just going to do it right here on the helping hands. That way that will hold my ESC for me. And then solder these up. So hopefully you can see this. I'll solder a couple and then I'll finish up the rest. And for this I've already got the uh, motors tinned and the um, the ESCs as well. So I just start on one side. Doesn't matter which one. Oops! Keep dropping these darn things. Yeah, we'll get them soldered up.
Okay, there's one of the twisted ones. So that's going to be either motor one or four. Do one more like that. The other black one. I keep reaching over here and cleaning my solder tip in a little bit of flux and it helps this flow flow nicely once it's actually in the solder. All right, there we go, another twisted one. So that's motors one and four complete. Let's put them right here. I don't know if they're in the screenshot. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit. That's all right. And then uh, motors two and three, same thing. All right, there we go. So all the motors are soldered to the ESCs. Now we're just going to mount the motors to the arms. I'm going to use two, two bolts each. And uh, these are kind of nice. They came with either 7 millimeter long bolts or 5 millimeter. Since I have 4 inch arms, I'm going to use the seven millimeter and I already double checked the windings are quite a ways from the bottom of the motor so if I went up in there two to three millimeters I'm still going to clear the motors or clear the windings with the uh, bolts and I, I like to use a drop of blue Loctite on each one of those so I'm going to get those bolted up and then I'll be ready to measure the power wires and the uh, control board wires and get everything set so I can get those soldered up on the frame. Alright, there we go. I got the motors all mounted and the ESCs soldered to the motors. Now before I mount my motors I always like to take some oil. This happens to be an old bottle of Scorpion motor oil that I had. I've had it for years. And I'll try to get a drop on the top bearing and then one on the bottom bearing before I put the motor on. Even if these are brand new motors, I don't know if they put any oil in them when they came from the factory. So I go ahead and put a drop in there. And they all sound nice and smooth. So I'm going to do this uh, motor number one here. So I'm just going to get the control wires out of the way so I can get up in here and see how long these need to be. Just kind of hold them up in there and then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. My hobby scissors and cut them off. Maybe just a hair long. Make sure I have plenty. And then uh, this black wire, I want it to be kind of long so I can wrap it around. So let's go about there. Uncoil it. And I'd like to wrap it, twist it at the servo or at the uh, 
flight controller or whatever that is at the uh, speed controller a couple of times then up here I'm going to cut the white one off kind of long so I have plenty to go to my flight control I'm just going to cut the ends off okay I know you probably can't see this but I'm going to strip about a half of an inch off of this little black wire about like that twist the end and then uh, strip these two back these I just strip a little bit eighth to a quarter of an inch not a huge amount turn my iron on about like that Actually, I need to strip just a little more off that negative side. About like that. Okay. So that's how I've got it. And then uh, what I'm going to do, twist these. I'm going to do all four speed controls this way. then this ground I'm going to twist right in with the ground of the speed controller about like that just wrap it around there and then when I tin that it'll just be one piece that I need to solder to the uh, to the power distribution board. So when my iron heats up, I'll tin that up. And we're good and hot. This way it grounds all four of your speed controllers, but you don't have to uh, you don't have to mess with soldering this little tiny ground wire to your uh, to your control board. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and then it's going to get soldered right there, just like that. So let's do that. Actually, first, let me get a piece of double-sided tape. And I use this 3M Extreme tape because it holds really well, but it also removes really well. About a half inch wide piece. I'm going to cut that in half. I don't need a huge amount. I use that other one on a different one. Then I'm going to put that right on the bottom. Fiddly tiddly, trying to get this caught on the screen there for you. Peel off the backing if you can. Then I'm just going to center it up and stick it down. Just like that. Okay. Now I can get those ends soldered on there.
hopefully you can see that. Then the only thing I have coming up will be just this one signal wire and that's the only one I need to be fiddling with uh, as far as on the control board. So I'm going to do the other three, clean up the mess and then we'll come back. Okay there we go. All the grounds on the ESCs or on the board, positives are all set up and all I have is these four wires that will go to my flight controller. Got them all taped up. Just used black electrical tape. I used to use zip ties but I stopped doing that so I don't pop something off of the ESC. And these Rotor Geeks ESCs are pretty wide, these 20 amps wider than the arms so it's kind of taken away a little bit of the good engineering they did when they built this that arm but I don't race I just fly for fun and I'm not even going to notice a difference so there we go now I'm ready for the next video which is going to be installing the uh, flight controller and let me show you real quick on this particular flight controller again this is a uh, Flip 32, I believe is what it's called, and it's a, a F3 flight controller. It, it does not have an OSD, but it does uh, pass through telemetry. I'll be hooking it up S bus, and if you have a spectrum receiver, it's also got set up for the spectrum. So this particular one. All it has is for your positive or for your signal pins on the speed controllers. Anyway, people have been rigging it up and using grounds from this side. You could do speed controller um, signal and ground over here. But the way I set up the basic uh, quad, I don't have to worry about that. All I'm going to do is hook one through four on this side. And what I also like to do, this just has through holes for the boot. So I like to uh, solder just a two pin on here and have it stick out the side. Then I can just put a jumper on it if I need to boot it. And that's been working out real good for me on uh, other two helicopter or uh, quadcopters that I use this flight controller on. So I'm going to get that soldered up. The, the two pins, the only pins I'm putting on here just for the boot and then uh, get it flashed, make sure it accepts uh, everything and get it set up and then I'll be ready to start soldering it on to the uh, quadcopter.